yeah, we can go ahead and submit this application and, you know, we can go ahead and let it, you know, she's like, okay, great. Yeah. Because I, I'm a traveling business person. So she was also in the sales, um, for, uh, Kellogg's, um, a cereal brand. Yeah. And so, but yeah, so she, wow. she hasn't really responded or anything, but I sent her also the, the background check too, and told her like, Hey, just have this in your email and you, you can schedule a viewing. And she's just kind of been distant since then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you pre-qualify them over the phone. And then, you know, if you find them, you know, find out if they're going to rent or if they just, or they wanted to rent to own, and then you find out how much money they have to put into the deal and then <clears throat> find out if they've driven by, if they like the neighborhood. And if you feel good about them and they have some money to put down the right kind of money, it's okay to go ahead and get a little bit of their story. So you can, you can call up the homeowner now and, and make that, you know, sell it to them a little bit. You know, these are great people. The reason why they can't buy is, is because, well, one, they can. She already has a pre-approval letter, but um, they're they're looking to do this probably sometime in the next six months. So, um, you know, this might work out a lot quicker than we were anticipating. That's that's great news, isn't it, Mr. Homeowner? Right, right. Yeah, that's great news. So, when would be a good time for me to get them over there and let them fall in love with that place? You see how I'm talking? Yeah. So it's, it's a little, it's, it's different than, Hey, I got a guy wants to come over and see it. Is Saturday good? <laughs> yeah. you, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah. you know, you had to put a little, put a little polish on it, Kiwi. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <You> know? <laughs> right. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess, I guess one thing I need to do, uh, it is just kind of note to self is not to make these phone calls during my first morning break at work. <laughs> Cause that's, it's, that's, yeah. I think that's what it was too, is when I talked to her today, like, I guess my stress kind of seeped yeah. through the phone um, and it kind of, but oh, yeah, yeah, but I already, I already called her right after when I got back from lunch and I was like, since it was fresh in my mind, I called her and, and we worked it out. So we're just like, yeah, she's like Friday, you know, I'll, I'll have all afternoon Friday. If you want to send, a, you know, one or two people, that's fine. Just let me know. And, and I appreciate you getting the driver's license and the, and the license plate number. Like, I appreciate that. That would really be helpful. I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, no problem. yeah. So yeah, get that tenant buyer's copy of a driver's license and, and plate number. And, and that's great. Um, everybody feels safer. Uh, everybody knows who's, who's who and who's coming and when and, um, the appointment confirmation memo makes everybody feel safe too. Um, everybody's put their name here and I can read it and sign it. And that's when they said they'll be there. And you know that that's all coordinated well between both parties. It's, it's a cool little system. Right. Right. Yeah. It'd be nice, you know, to get, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, man, I got, I got nervous towards this end cause I, I haven't been there yet. So I, I yeah. handled it, that's okay. you know, yeah. So you, but, do you uh, have somebody set up to go over and look? Uh, yeah, there is one right now. She's trying to, she, she's got her kids and she, she actually wants to find a sitter so she can actually go really look at it. Um, and she wants to see, she asked, she's like, can I put my mm -hmm. husband on a Skype call while I go look at it? It's like, yeah, I don't see why there would be an issue with it. And um, he's the one that's overseas. Uh, oh, okay. And so I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it'd be fine. No big deal um great and, yeah and then there's another there's another husband and wife team that want to call me today at 7 30 my time um and uh talk about you know wanting to put a, the the down payment and i want to get their backstory and pre-screen them first and then if they that goes well then i'll schedule them for friday afternoon what because the other one with the pre-approval i haven't heard back so i'm not going to be chasing her you know right. i sent, yeah. her, sent, sent her a message and, and stuff like that and i'll uh yeah. You know, if I, if nothing goes well this week, then I'll touch base with them again. But, um, you know, I'll touch, you know, reach out to her next week, but right now I want to focus on those two for this. Yeah. Week. Yeah. You don't chase these people, man. You don't chase tenant buyers at all. The right one will chase you. Right. And they'll chase you with a chick. So that's good. <laughs> it sounds to me like you are well on your way to having something put together on this here deal. And what what's the uh, what's the potential net again? Fifteen, eighteen k, twenty k. What was it? Twenty five. Well, dude, this one was three eighty five, so it could be twenty five. Um, Ooh. Yeah. And uh, where and, and and I know you're gonna be like, damn it, dude. But <laughs> I uh, I got nervous, man. Um, 
the, on the on this last one because she's like you know what would you need for i was like well what what do you have down for a reasonable option deposit uh because um it uh there would need to be something down for that and she says well would five work i said no nah. i said no unfortunately ma'am i'm sorry that's uh that's way below what we're looking for. I said, is there anything more that you can do? Uh, I mean, because I'm giving you the option yeah. to purchase this home at a great price. It's a yeah. luxury condo. I'm getting you in kind of on a play to play thing. Um, you know, there would really be need to be some skin in the game for that. And she said, okay, like 20. I'm like, uh, yeah, actually, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, that would be, that'd be great. So there yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. So you just made fifteen thousand more dollars in how long? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is it worth using a little bit of guts? Oh right. man, I love it, dude. Guts, like, <laughs> you know, I, I'm using guts on everything. Even my girlfriend's starting to get pissed because she hears me play the videos and and uh, and she's like, "Don't use this like maybe not shit on me all the time." <laughs> <laughs> mine does it too mine does it too man she says that too yeah so it's uh I, i've been using it man and it's great um in fact um kind of an interesting story man uh my uh my uncle uh he used to be a top sales a salesperson for a dank of copiers and and uh and and uh oh shoot this other uh investment bank out in denver yeah um and he's kind of he's gotten struck with like some cancer and stuff like that so he's not been able to, to work and so i've been like telling him like hey his wife's a real estate agent and i said hey what about doing this with me and i'm already kind of setting up the joint venture stuff to give to him and have him and i'm going to teach him guts and how to do that so that way i can still have focused on my stuff and then the stuff i'm going to be partnering up with mag on um that he can do and close and and uh you know nice so I'm, and I'm trying to build that up as as good as i can so yeah he loved the gut system too because he's like he's like wait a minute he's like you're even putting me in a position to where i can't say no i said you're either gonna tell me yes or no and i'm gonna take a no but like six different times before i let you go <laughs> and, he, and he's just like oh okay this is great yeah so he's all excited about it too so it's uh it's not manipulation it's it's a higher form of communication yeah, yeah, I like that because it's true. I mean, it's like you're not, it's not manipulating. It's just like, I don't think you really answered that right. You know, right. this is what she meant. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, good job, man. I'm excited to hear all the good stories coming out of you. Um, thank you, man. Yeah. Congratulations I mean, I, I, on your progress yeah. so far. I see good thank things. You. I think you'll close this one up just fine. And uh, maybe with this tenant buyer or, or the second one you have interested or, or maybe another one that hasn't even uh, introduced themselves yet. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, who, who knows? I, 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 but I don't think I really need to post a thing on Red Links. I haven't done that yet. I'm getting quite a few. Uh, yeah. Uh, quite a few, like I, yeah. I guess, different potential leads on the uh, the Facebook ad. So. That's great, man. I agree. If it's working on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, and boost the listing if you need to. You know, maybe do a paid ad or something like that uh if that's working then forget rent links yeah you know, yeah it's, it syndicates out to a bunch of sites but you know like i said today in the vip session i rarely i rarely use it really because i i do most of my deals on craigslist and facebook marketplace and facebook paid ads yeah that's 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 where i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i think what what it was was you were right like with the uh you know the condo thing it took a while for it to kind of yeah. circulate and yeah. and maybe on the condos maybe up it for ten dollars the first three days and then drive it back down to five to get the views i, I don't know um but but yeah it's it, whatever it's, it's kind of it's working like at you know eight in the morning i have like three new people like hey i'm interested you know so uh yeah so yep. it's good yeah but yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping i can get this wrapped up within like the next week or two and uh then go and tell my boss like hey i'm i'm, I'm going straight to like four hours for four days a week and then one more deal and i'm out yeah yeah and that's it man good yeah. good i see it i i i have a crystal ball <laughs> i see your future becoming, <laughs> yeah. becoming much more clear now <laughs> yeah 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 and even on the um as far as like the the down payment stuff goes um 
I, I, I don't know why, but I felt bad on the, uh, if they were to say 25, I would have felt, I don't know why I would feel bad, but I, I it just kind of ate at me when I was talking to him because I'm pretty sure I could have gotten it at the 385 with the, but I just felt maybe that might have been a little much. Well, go with your gut, man. If 20 feels better to you in your gut, then go with, go with your gut. If you can get 25 and you feel okay with 25, go with 25. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd love 25, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'd, lo I'd love it, but uh, I like it's when they, when they say, but I've been surprised, It's and it, this is just the truth, and I know you probably get a lot too, um, is uh, where they they say like, oh, 20, that's it? And I'm thinking like, shit, that's a lot of money, right, <laughs> you know? Right. But yeah, but well, the, 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 pa the past two have said stuff like that. Well, in this case, it's different because she said 5K to begin with, and you talked her up to 20. Okay, but if you let them name their price first, which is the rule in the, of negotiation, don't don't name the price first, or you, unless you want to lose. So if they say five, you can talk them up to twenty in this case, like you did. If they said twenty, you could you could say, well, you know, the same thing you said to this lady, right? You know, we can get you up to twenty-five. We we're really looking for twenty-five. Is, is there anything more reasonable than twenty you could do? And you might be you might be able to get a twenty-two fifty or something, you know. That would be, yeah, um, I'd even be fine with that. But it's all about letting them name their price first, you know. And because uh, okay. if, if you go, if you lead in with 20, then, you know, you're never going to get more than that. Right. It's just less than that. Right. So it's okay that you went in having a $25,000 spread there and somebody came in and offered five, you got them up to 20 and you said, yes, I wouldn't feel bad about that at all. I'd pop, <laughs> I'd pop a bottle. <laughs> yeah 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 because if i got the the 20 grand and i gave the seller five i i wouldn't even go part-time i'd just be like i'm done and i'm gonna hustle on this and you know yeah yeah send your old buddy justin a couple hundred thousand i mean a couple thousand no, I'm just <laughs> man I mean, i'll send you uh i'll send you that nice bottle of uh you like scotch no i can't stand scotch it's like drinking rubbing alcohol man oh i, I love yeah. it <laughs> it's yeah. rough it's getting it's really, cold out there. I'm, just, I'm excited to have a, have a glass this week. Oh, yeah. That'll warm you up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for ahead. sure. Yeah. No, I'm more of a, 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 a gin man. I like gin. Oh, okay. Well, that gets me in trouble. <laughs> Why is that? It's like it's like a – it used to be a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing with gin. Oh, really? Gin and vodka, man, were like my – like, Wow. Yeah. 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 No. But whiskey and scotch, man, I could have that all day long and, and be riding it pretty good uh no i'm a kentucky boy and right across from where i used to live in kentucky there was a uh, jim beam's distillery oh right right and, and so i grew up kind of smelling uh corn mash and uh it stinks man it stinks yeah <laughs> it, it really does it smells bad and makes the whole part of town smell like shit and, oh no and so i uh i don't know i just kind of don't like whiskey much you know i'm not a big whiskey fan but now, Canadian whiskey, though, like uh, used to uh, Crown Royal was, you know, one of my faves. And, but but the uh, American whiskey with the oak barrel char flavor and all that stuff, the corn mash and whatever, I'm, man, I, I can't hardly do it. No. Bur bourbon. Bur yeah. Man, I love that. Oof, it's tough. That's yeah, but if I would have been, a, yeah, if I would have grown up, though, like that, I would have probably been like, no, like, I can't. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe I mean, there's a lot of people I grew up with that love the shit. You know, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just me. You know, I'm just quirky in that way. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, uh, send me a bottle of gin, man. If you, yeah, man, I'll I'll definitely do that, dude. I mean, you you, it is. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me and and, and continue to do. So I'm very grateful for it. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. I'm glad you're getting a lot out of it. I'm proud of you. You're doing really well. Keep Thank up you, the buddy. good work, man. Keep the momentum going. Um, I want to hear more deals, man. More Thanks, deals. man. Not just uh, uh, not just tenant buyers on this one. I need more deals. Oh no, yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I've got 750 scrapes this week, so I'm back on the wagon. Because we need so, more. We need more cowbell. Oh, dude, <laughs> get all the cowbell, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the only one question I I, I want to see real quick is. Um, so with this, let's say they go, they see the house, they want to do the deal, they they uh, write a check. Do I have it like electronically sent to me, or do I just take the check and mail, or how does that work on a virtual? 
Yeah, you, you uh, call your bank up and you ask them to get the, if you ask them for your um, routing, I mean, not your routing, your wire transfer number and tell them you're, you want to receive a wire transfer and they'll set your account up to where you can receive wire transfers and they'll give you a SWIFT code number or some something like this. And you, in other words, you just tell them, hey, I need you to wire that money into my bank account. Okay. Okay. Directly to me, to my bank. <laughs> you might not say into my bank account. Okay. Don't right, say it like right. that, but say wire that money to me and uh, sign these documents. And when the wire arrives, then the documents will be complete. And then I give the five to the seller, right? At that point. And then, yes, you, you give the 5,000 to the seller. Okay. You write, you write a check, bank check, or you wire the money to her. Or you ask them, how would you like to receive the money? Oh, okay. okay. So if they're there, they want the five, and then they just wire the remaining balance to me. They could do that as well. It's up to okay. them. It's however what's what's most convenient for everyone the seller. in the deal. Yeah. Okay. You and the seller and the tenant buyer too. Okay. Okay. So um, cashier's checks do work still also, but that sucks because you – have to wait for it to get mailed to you and then when you get it you put it in your bank and you put like a 10-day hold on it so wire transfer money is pretty much available pretty much right away so you want wire money unless you want to wait for things to no. clear okay i have the wire <laughs> yeah that's on our big deal like that with twenty twenty thousand dollars moving around you want it to go electronically into okay. your bank. I'll, I'll make an appointment with my bank and everything this week to, to get all that stuff ready. Yeah. Cause I just had to, I switched the bank for my business account. So I need to go get all that info too. You can just call them up and do it if you want. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Cause the, um, usually they just have to notate something in their machine and then they have to give you the, the code um, to, to actually send it. Now you might tell them this too, this might be helpful is sometimes they'll be like, Oh, it's fine. Just give them your routing number and give them your account number and just tell them to wire it there. And when it arrives, we'll put it in your account. And when they say that, ask them if there's another, if there's a confidential number that they can give you because you're uncomfortable with giving away your routing number and account number. Right. So right. Because, because you don't know these people. Oh, you don't know them? Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was, I'm sorry. I thought it was your dad or something. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. if you can get them to give you that confidential type number, then that'll be better for everyone involved, including you. Okay. Great. Yeah, I'll do that, man. So what that confidential number does is a wire transfer runs from them through the federal reserve down back to your local bank. And then it'll, that confidential number, it'll arrive at the bank itself. So in other words, it's not account specific. And when they open up that particular wire transfer that the bank just received, it'll, it'll direct them, that number will direct them and tell them, hey, this actually needs to be put in Nick's account. Oh, wow. This, this, this was money for Nick. So it's a way of kind of putting a layer in between you and <laughs> okay long story short just work it out bro yeah no no yeah, no, no no that's cool i appreciate it man thank you yeah but but yeah man that's so yeah i'm excited hopefully i'll hopefully i'll have some some stuff to show you at the end of the week or something i'm looking forward to it man I'm looking forward thank to you, it dude. yep it's gonna yeah. be great me too man i'm excited <laughs> for you it's gonna be super good <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool man so well, better so they're going to see it friday yeah they're that's what we're scheduled she said she's got friday afternoon and if they don't have friday i'm going to see um she's going to let me know if she can saturday afternoon for a little bit um so that way you know if they don't make it friday you know we have saturday to work with gotcha yeah but i told her i told her yeah these people want to buy it and she's like i want it sold because they already moved up to the uh, the upper condo so they want to sell it so she's excited to get somebody in quick okay okay yeah. cool Cool, cool, cool. I like it, man. Keep me updated, brother. We'll talk I soon. Will, man. All righty, Justin. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good one.
Uh, you too, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.